Senator Cruz, thank you very much, and congratulations on your announcement. I want to first uh, read something to you, a description. A Harvard Law graduate, 40-something years old, two young daughters, in the Senate for only two years, who thinks he can be president. I could be describing you. I could be describing Barack Obama. Uh, true enough, but, but I think there are, there are a lot more notable differences between us than, than the similarities. That is true. But, you know, one of the, the key things that uh, we're already hearing is you don't have a lot of experience uh, with, when it comes to being in federal office or being in office at all, and that you're, you're you know, too young and too inexperienced for the job. Well, you know, Dan, I think there are really two sharp distinctions between where I am today and, and, and where Barack Obama was when he launched his campaign. Number one, in his time in the Senate, he, he had basically been a bank backbencher. He had not been leading on, on issues of any significance. Uh, in my time in the Senate, you can accuse me of being a lot of things, but, but a bank backbencher is not one of them. That may be true, but the, the big criticism of President Obama, especially as the years have gone on, is that he didn't have any experience in an executive function. He didn't run any organization. And the same can be said about you. What, but, what but, experience but do you have to be commander-in-chief of the United States military, for example? Well, well unlike Barack Obama, uh, I was not a community organizer before I was elected to the Senate. I, I spent five and a half years as the Solicitor General of Texas, the chief lawyer for the state of Texas in front of the U.S. Supreme Court. Uh, I l supervised and led every appeal for the state of Texas in a 4,000-person agency with over 700 lawyers. And over the course of five and a half years, over and over again, Texas led the nation defending conservative principles and winning.